A blind man nearly lost his life in the scary incident at Peoria Station in Colorado, but a savior stepped in just in time. Published by Inside Edition in November of 2017, this scary video sees the blind man approaching the tracks using his cane, completely unaware that a local motive is coming down the track. Luckily, a bystander noticed what the man didn't and pulled him back from the tracks just in time. The train is seen sweeping through moments later as a group of people pauses to let it pass. Some note in the comments that bells and gates should be installed at this crossing to ensure this doesn't happen again. Not everyone would be so lucky to have someone there to save their life. Here's a freaky sighting. Imagine you're playing guitar with your friends when something decides to pay a visit. Published by Navigon in November of 2007, this creepy video shows some dudes practicing in a bedroom. One is playing the guitar, the other is singing, and the third is recording the session. But as it turns out, there's a fourth uninvited guest nearby. As they continue to play, the friend filming the session takes a broader shot of the singer, and towering in the doorway behind him is a seemingly tall man. Standing sentry and staring into the room, in the comments of this video, David F.E. writes, It's a humanoid being about 7 feet tall, not a ghost. Many people have reported them before. Whatever the case, in the moment, the friend filming doesn't spot the humanoid. The three continue their session without any reaction, and the next time the cameraman pans over, the figure is gone. They must have spotted the humanoid later in the playback, a humanoid that was so close he could have touched them. What would you do if you saw this over your friend's shoulder? Do you have the common care to tame a snake? This shocking footage will make you question your own bravery. The video shows a man grabbing a thick snake with his bare hands. The snake looks around 10 feet long and arches toward the man when he pulls back. As the snake appears to be aggressive, the man holds up one arm. He is apparently trying to grab a hold of the snake close to its head, which he manages to do upon his second attempt. He takes the snake with both hands in a tight grip as it opens its mouth wide, baring its fangs. Then, as if with no care in the world, the man walks the snake over to some other workers who pick up its tail and are taking photos with the beast. The footage ends there, but judging by this man's professionalism, I think we can safely guess the snake was properly removed to a more secure location. Ruptured asphalt, a volcano of water, mud flooding an entire street. That's what happened in Ukraine's capital of Kiev in May of 2017. Published by KVN, this incident occurred due to a 2 meter wide pipe breaking while work was being done on a water canal. The footage shows the very moment the volcano breaks through the asphalt, toppling over garbage cans and gently nudging the cars in its path out of the way. Another camera angle captures just how high the mud reached. According to reports, the mud slushy hit all the way up to the 7th floor of a building. Miraculously, no one was harmed in the event, but some of these cars definitely needed a few runs through the car wash. There's something particularly upsetting about this figure caught on camera, submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Chaos Magic. This unusual goat-legged figure was captured on CCTV at around 3.30 in the morning. The video shows a very clear figure walking along the pavement. A dog in the clip can see her, so you might just think this is nothing more than a woman walking at night. But then again, look more closely. Her legs appear as though they end in hooves. Her behavior is also alarming, as the footage from different cameras shows she leaves the parameter of this camera only to be seen in the next one standing for a moment by the car. Then she turns around and returns to where she was first seen, only to stand motionless in the shadows. Who is this goat-legged individual waiting for? Maybe she's waiting for you. A Russian YouTuber plays Russian roulette with poltergeists in this paranormal footage. Published to YouTube by Dark Ghost in March of 2021, this poltergeist activity was captured by cameras installed in the haunted home, as well as cameras operated by the ghost hunter who was brave enough to enter. 
The first instance of paranormal activity comes when a camera that he installed in one room captures a cupboard being moved on its own. It scrapes across the floor and comes to a halt in the middle of the room. And after hearing the noise, the ghost hunter enters to see for himself. The room appears empty, but he soon realizes it's not. An entire wardrobe nearly falls directly on him. There is no space behind the wardrobe for someone to have stood and pushed it over. So what caused this heavy furniture to fall? In a state of shock, having barely escaped with his life, the ghost hunter sets up his spirit box to talk with the spirit. It asks him clear as day who he is and why he's here. The spirit tells him that it is dangerous. When he asks what is, she says his occupation. The spirit tells him that the souls of the passed away have heard him. She also notes that they're not all good ones. After a while, she refuses to answer any more questions. When the ghost hunter returns to the room where the cupboard moved and the wardrobe nearly took his life, everything has returned to its place. As he settles in for the night, somehow catching some shut-eye while stretched out on wooden chairs, a spot of light bursts above him, and he springs to his feet. He said that at that point he felt a bitter cold. Once you've nearly had your life taken and feel the temperature drop, it's probably time to pack it in and call it a night. Someone's life was taken here, and a shadow person remains. Is it the person who passed, or the person who ended their life? Published in December of 2021, Drena and Mike's paranormal adventures entered this house and got more than they bargained for. While exploring the home, the spirit speaks to them. The voice sounds like it's whispering, help me out. As they continue to communicate with the spirits in the darkness, Drena feels something touch her on the shoulder. Do you know any of our names? Did you just touch me on my shoulder? Sounds good to me. Later in another room, Drena and Mike are talking with someone off camera, and the camera scans from one side of the room to the other. This is when you see it. In the next room over, the shadow appears. It looks like it's ducking behind the door, and it disappears in an instant. Is there a lost soul in this haunted home? And if so, who does it belong to? I know I wouldn't go back there after seeing this, but I do really think this place needs further investigation. This man, known as the Buddy, was one of the most popular users on the TikTok community. His dances were funny at first, but as he gained popularity, the videos became kind of more, well, I guess bold would be one word you could use. According to unverified rumors, the following video was allegedly sent to someone who is not of age. Watch this and tell me if you think this is an appropriate way to use TikTok, because I definitely do not. I mean, you're the cute one here, not me, so. He was reportedly banned for life from the TikTok community for violating their terms of service, but apparently he still has active accounts on other platforms. A group of divers go exploring off Miller's Point in South Africa, a place where giant sea life can pose quite a problem, but it's not what they find that makes this diving video scary so much as what it is they lose. At 4 minutes and 17 seconds, one of them starts to thrash around and has to be extracted by two friends. He has lost his sense of direction because everything is one color, no floor, no ceiling, and easy to lose track of unless you keep focus. Now up has become down, left has become right. He has no idea where he is and his mind is spinning, a condition known as vertigo. Once you are in this confused state, it's easy to keep swimming farther down because you think you are going to reach the surface at any moment. 
Eventually, the underwater pressure becomes too much to handle and you can guess the rest. When they bring him to the surface, you can see that it's a good thing they intervened in time. He later says he blacked out and doesn't remember any of the scary moments they've caught on camera. There was little chance of him reaching the surface on his own and he pretty much owes them his life. So take this video as an example why you should never go diving alone unless you want to risk the same thing happening to you with no one to save your life. This video taken at the North Dallas High School in Texas by a YouTuber named Smart Dolphin captures a very hard to find figure at the end. I've highlighted the possible ghost so that you can see it more easily. This is without a doubt the colorless outline of a human. You can see his feet shift a little bit as he changes his stance if you look closely enough. With this in mind, the question becomes whether or not this person was living when this video was recorded. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to make somebody look all grey like this with some decent editing equipment, but let me know if you think this is a genuine ghost or just a fake. A man comes home one evening, only to find one of the chairs by his front door has been pulled up. This makes him suspicious so he checks his home security system to see if it was the wind or what. He wasn't expecting to find anything creepy like this man staring straight at the camera with a weird expression, arms crossed. This stranger is as suspicious as can be, something might be concealed under his arm. His forehead is creased with stress, like he's about to do something to whoever opens that door. As if one visit wasn't weird enough, he comes back a few minutes later. He was most likely watching the house to see if anyone would open the door. He takes one last, highly suspicious look directly into the window, possibly to see if anything of value is immediately within sight, looks up at the security camera, and decides to leave. I really doubt he has any legitimate reason to be here. If he did, he could have at least left a note explaining himself. That probably would have been a better move instead of looking as shady as possible. Well, potentially concealing something under his arm. The person who owns this house lives in the middle of nowhere with no neighbors, making their house an easy target, and they have never seen this person before. If they didn't have this security system to protect them, he might have tried to get in. This poltergeist is not at all timid. Published by JCG Dragon in August of 2019, this scary video was filmed in a haunted home in Argentina. The video shows a bedroom door slamming as hard as it can. The cameraman approaches the door, opens it, and in the opposite room, captures objects being thrown on the floor. Assumedly by the same poltergeist, the cameraman enters the room crying in fear. When he turns the corner, there is nothing there, but slamming is heard again. <laughs> and he turns to find the door from the other room has slammed shut again. And what's worse, the power goes out. It sounds like the camera is dropped to the floor. I know, no, 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 no. I know. Oh, no. What havoc will now ensue in the darkness? As the video ends there, it's left up to our imaginations. But judging from how these events are playing out, I can't think it's anything good. Two men go into an internet cafe early in the morning with a few pro tools and the worst of intentions. Hardly anyone is there and even if the place were busy, it wouldn't matter because they've got their routine down to a science. They pick two seats midway down so as not to look obvious. One of them acts like they're going online, but what he's really doing is helping to cover the movements of his friend, who has already unscrewed the casing of the computer, and is now working on the floor bolts that are holding it down. There's a wall on his side, so if you worked there, 
It would be like he was digging through a backpack or something. Something walks by them at 28 seconds and is too busy on their phone to notice what they're up to. They act like they are looking at something on the same screen as the entire uncased computer gets put into a large plastic bag. They put the empty computer case back to make it look like nothing is out of place. They can't just walk out of there with a big obvious computer shaped plastic bag. So they take it into the bathroom and dismantle the computer for valuable spare parts and throw the rest in the trash. The clerk has no idea what they've done, not even glancing up as they briskly walk out with top of the line video cards, RAM, and other hardware to sell. Clearly, this isn't their first time, but this time they were caught on camera. Most unidentified flying objects involve blinking lights. This one has no light, which perhaps adds to its mystery. Published by Burbex in June of 2021, this mysterious video captured a triangular-shaped unidentified flying object in the sky over Shanghai, China, which caused some speculation on the internet. The dark triangle was captured overhead in multiple videos, piercing through the clouds or smog as they shift past. According to Burbex, some of this footage was filmed from the Panorama Hotel, and in the video, he is on a mission to solve the mystery. He heads to the hotel where an unusual number of police and security officers are gathered outside, but there reportedly was an alleged gas leak on the next street over. Burbex heads inside and up to the 27th floor where one of the videos was filmed. Looking over the bund, it's hard to imagine what could have projected that triangle into the sky. Burbex then talks with other Shanghaiers who spotted the mysterious, unidentified flying object. One of them shows the photo he captured on camera from below. He notes that the shape of the building is a triangle and there are lights on the top of the building. <laughs> when the lights are cast upward and clouds are overhead, the lights bounce off of them, creating the triangular image in the sky. Although some might be disappointed that this isn't an unidentified flying object, for others, solving this mystery is incredibly satisfying. Bree Calderon gets an alert from his home security system. The motion sensor camera has caught some weird things on tape over his table. Meanwhile, a small light is by the door that he can't explain. According to Bree, the ghost is moving towards an urn off camera that contains the cremated remains of his grandmother. That would be terrifying, but there's no way to tell if any part of the story is actually true. With that said, the strange mist might actually be some small picture distortion but this visual glitch wouldn't be enough to set off the motion detector. Basically, I can't fully explain this video, so this might actually be paranormal. The silence and foggy stillness underwater are spooky enough, but encountering a ghostly wreck 20,000 leagues under the sea will put you in another world. Published to YouTube by Tim Powell in February of 2010, this footage captures the aftermath of the SS Thistlegorm in the Red Sea. The British armed merchant ship was powered by a triple expansion steam engine and built in 1940. A year later, in October of 1941, Germans sunk the SS Thistlegorm near Egypt. The ship was headed to Alexandria on its fourth and what would be its final voyage. The ship sailed south around Cape Town, South Africa, due to the German and Italian occupation of the Mediterranean. An accident in the Suez Canal caused the cargo to be held up and moored at safe anchorage F for about a month, which turned out to be not so safe, since there is where it was sunk. Guided by local fisherman Jacques Cousteau, he discovered the wreckage years later, recording his findings in his book, The Living Sea. Ever since, the shipwreck, which lies about 100 feet below the surface at its deepest, has been a hotspot for recreational divers, mainly due to its treasure trove of cargo. After all, it's a steam train that's been waterlogged for upwards of 80 years. This footage is a window into its underwater world that fish, seaweed, barnacles, and coral reefs have now overtaken. This is 
a huge 10-foot fish. Even the locals don't even know what this is. This underwater discovery is scary to visitors and locals alike because never before have they seen such a strange sea creature sighting. It's unknown exactly when this video was taken. Somewhere in Mexico is the best I could find, but I can tell you what this is called. It's an oar fish, and it gets its name because it's roughly as long as a rowing paddle. Everyone is perplexed by what to them is a mysterious encounter. In reality, the oar fish looks twice as aggressive as a shark, but actually poses no harm to you, unless you are underwater plankton. Its main diet, strange appearance aside, there is one other reason to be afraid of this fish. According to Japanese folklore, oar fish wash ashore when an earthquake is coming soon. Apparently, it's happened so many times in the past that they've even done experiments to see if it's true. They weren't able to prove the myth true, but one lead scientist talked about changes in catfish behavior that have been observed up to 10 days before an earthquake. So if a catfish acts strange before an earthquake, then an oar fish could too in my opinion. If anyone knows the date and location of this video then please tell me. That way I could look up any reports of seismic activity after this video was taken to see if the legends are true. Impending earthquake or not, seeing this creature wash ashore on a sunny day and not knowing what it was would be enough to make me grab my luggage and get the heck out of there. That's one freaky fish I'd rather not chance brushing across in the water. This haunted home has visible spirits stalking about. Published by A Sip of Fear in January of 2022, an unsettling figure was captured in the glass during this paranormal investigation. After setting up some cameras in this haunted home, activity begins pretty quickly. A wardrobe door is captured opening and closing, and later a bang causes the paranormal investigator to jump out of his skin. In another room, a stationary camera captures a figure's reflection in the glass door of a shelf. And again, the wardrobe door opens and closes repeatedly. Is this spirit trying to tell us something? Or does she just want to be left alone? A YouTuber named Conman165 has a somewhat scary moment on his gaming stream while talking about wrestling. Something he thinks could be a possible ghost sighting caught on webcam. During the match. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Did anybody else just see that? A small ghost orb moves his way and disappears. And if you look closely, the ghost orb blinks a little before it hits the middle of the door and goes away. I'm not saying that this ghost orb couldn't be dust. I'm just saying that nothing else like it appeared for the rest of the stream. And it's obviously something he's not used to seeing either based on his reaction. I saw like this white line run and just like fall down back here. That was weird. Hopefully Conman165 will keep us updated if any other creepy stuff happens. Here's why you should never look down during a hailstorm. Holy I felt the shockwave from that. A bolt of lightning cracks across the brick wallway in front of him. I felt the shock waves he says as he runs inside, but in truth, he's lucky he didn't feel something a lot worse. The moral of this scary video, if there is one, is to never go outside during this kind of weather. No exceptions. Not even the doorstep is safe. Peel your eyes back for this one. Published by Kisa Weba in January of 2022, this scary video has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. 
The video was shared with Kisa Weba by a subscriber who said he'd found the footage on Reddit. The original poster claimed to have crossed paths with this mud monster on the way home one day. The footage shows a creepy female mud-like creature sitting in the middle of a dirt road. The mysterious creature has long arms with a peculiar appendage where the hand should be. The hand features long, gumby-like fingers that appear to contract as the cameraman walks toward her. The figure's back is also strangely indented. It looks as if parts of the figure are blurred out for discretion, but as the cameraman walks toward her, the other hand reaches over, revealing the same elongated fingers as the first. There also appears to be a trail several feet down the road, dragged by the figure, but it ends as if the creature dropped to the earth there from the middle of nowhere. What is this mud monster? And what exactly is she doing here? I guess we'll never know for sure. KT Camp records her overhead lights swaying back and forth. They start out moving clockwise, but at the end of the video, they are starting to move the other way. Maybe she twisted up the cord on purpose to make it do this, but that doesn't explain the orbs. There's an especially large one here that is different from the others in size, shape and speed as well. Real haunting or just a fake attempt in a dusty kitchen? You tell me. While visiting a friend at a high school, these girls spotted strange flickering light inside, writing that it was flashing in a pattern. Posted by Babitz Manda to the Ghosts subreddit, the Redditor notes that this is the boys' and the girls' locker rooms. Only the boys was acting up earlier, and now they're both flickering. Some suggest it's a rave. Others think it may just be faulty wiring or the fire alarm being tested. But MTN do a 891 finds something else particularly unsettling. He writes, Why do the locker rooms have windows so large and close to the ground? That's what I find creepy. That's a good point. So maybe their story is not what's actually going on here. Nevertheless, this either had to be a major electrical malfunction or else the work of something paranormal. I just wish there was more video evidence so we could decide for sure. Build it and they will come, but maybe you don't really want them to come after all. Published by Grant Kopeck in October of 2020, something creepy calls this cornfield home. Captured on a ring camera, a homeowner is seen walking outside at night on the farm, but appears not to notice the enormous creature escaping from the cornfield in the background. As the man walks past, the large blurred figure moves from the cornfield toward a big garage to the left. It disappears appears behind some shadow in the background. Many in the comments think this is a ghost or an extraterrestrial, while others think it's simply a reflection from the man's jacket. Although it very well could be the latter, YouTuber Master of None offers some great advice for the farmer. Don't sleep ever again. If I lived beside that cornfield, I'd have to say I'd be doing the same thing. <laughs> ये आप देख सकते हैं क्योंकि मैं और अजीब अजीब सी हरकतें करती रहती है ये आप देख सकते Ahmed knows of someone in need of his help. She's apparently been taken over by something paranormal, and he hopes to break it by reciting the right words over her bedridden figure. The orb activity picks up whenever he speaks. हम इसकी ट्रेटिंग भी कहते हैं ये बच्चे जो मेंटल है और कोई जो कहते हैं कि इसके अंदर अब ये चीजें और जिन्ना आते हैं her gray hands have marks and worn knuckles her fingers are constantly flexing हमें महसूस हो रही एक्टिविटी है When she reaches for Ahmed at 3 minutes and 54 seconds, her arms are likewise discolored and marred. Something has been hard at work destroying her from the inside out. We don't get to see much of her face, but when we do get a glimpse, it looks scary and possessed. A twisted sneer across cracked gray skin at 9 minutes and 4 seconds. By the end of the session, she says something that makes him stop recording with a small sigh. 
tell me what she says here to seemingly break his spirit. The possibility of this being real depends on if you believe in spirits taking someone over. Caught on tape is a scary woman, no doubt about that, but she could also be suffering from some kind of illness that causes delusions and skin conditions. This could also be makeup and some very good acting. The orbs could be from a dusty room, but the way they move over her makes me wonder if this is a real paranormal video caught on tape. When a Shadow Welcomes You, Run and Hide, published by Polish Paranormal TV in October of 2021, this scary video explores a haunted place in Poland. Upon entering, the team uses a spirit box as they head up the stairs. Right away, the spirits start speaking. According to a translation, the spirit says either I'm here or welcome here, but how welcome are they? Later, while walking down a hallway, a shadowy figure is spotted leaning against the door frame. You can see it more clearly in slow motion. Do you see it? If you do, this figure will haunt your eyes for eternity. Titled, The Day I Fell in a Crevice, the title of this scary video gets right down to it. Published in June of 2020, Edouard Bozin was skiing around Mont Blanc, Massif, when his group, in his own words, made many mistakes. Three of those mistakes which he outlines include splitting the group, not analyzing the terrain or regrouping at secure points, and lastly, stopping on the crevice with the exposed snow to wait for his friend, who was carving the mountain with too much speed. The snow took him, causing the drop into the crevice. This video shows that very moment, as Edward flies down the mountain and is then seen waiting for a moment. His friend's snow piles up. Edward then hits the crevice, falling into an avalanche of snow. Deep under the snow, Edward only has a small glimpse of the sky above. His friend soon appears in that speck of sky. He reaches down with his ski poles to try and pull his friend up. After a while, Edward takes off his skis and hands them up to his friend before painstakingly climbing out of the snow-piled crevice. And perhaps the most thrilling part of the entire ordeal, he is then rescued by helicopter. YouTuber brander CJ Corbin writes, Imagine falling all the way down in such an enclosed space. He managed to stop himself before he went too deep. It could have been much worse. I couldn't imagine how terrifying it must have been waiting for help in that crevice. Edward notes that he didn't make it out of this event unscathed. These places are serious and don't always give you a second chance. While this may be video editing, even so it's an image you won't be able to get out of your head. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Calligram, a young woman dressed in white with long black hair and shadowed eyes creeps backwards up the stairs. As she backs slowly away, her hair piles upwards onto the stair above. Obviously, this was shot forward and reversed backwards, but the effect produces the type of uncanny sensation that sends chills up your arms. Reddit agrees. A YouTuber named Signs and Signals goes ghost hunting at an old abandoned church he used to attend years ago. You know, this seems kind of creepy. I had some spooky things going here when I was a little kid. I've had strange feelings here when I was little. Things start to get weird when he enters the main area. I'm gonna try my best not to get the windows as much as possible just to keep from anybody pulling up because that alone if possibly anybody with on the camera. Camera His camera is glitching out in a very rhythmic pattern, and it doesn't look like he's messing with the zoom at all. Eventually, he gets it straightened out just in time for the strange sighting to be caught on camera. There's no way to tell if this is one of the ghost hunters or an actual phantom sighting, but since the camera goes out of focus in a really weird way, I think it could possibly be paranormal. What happens when you're stuck at McDonald's during an earthquake? You record it, of course. When he quickly snapped up his Android phone to capture this crazy quake at the local McDonald's, 
taken at a location in California. In the video, you can see the overhanging light shaking and swaying. The clip is short and to the point, but it reminds us that nature can and will attack anywhere and everywhere it pleases. If you knowingly lived in a haunted house, would you stay? Donnie Drunkard did. Published to YouTube in December of 2020, this paranormal activity will run you out of Donnie Drunkard's home. Donnie writes, After trying to recover footage that I thought was lost, I found these clips from last year documenting the earliest days of paranormal and poltergeist activity manifesting in my haunted house. The footage first shows Donnie playing with his dog Terry, but later that night Donnie notes that the atmosphere changed and that they heard voices and sounds coming from upstairs. Terrifying clinking and clanking bursts through the darkness. Terry is growling as Donnie grabs for his Bible and starts to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, how would be thy name? As Terry tries to escape under a table for comfort. Terry, come here. Terry. Come on. Come on, Terry. We gotta go. Donnie gathers him up to flee this mayhem for a time as they head out for a drive in the background. An overhead light is swinging back and forth while they are away. A closet door near where the sound originated opens slowly. Nothing exits. YouTuber Brenda Luke writes, That hallway, it's not just darkness, it's advanced darkness. I'd be leaving that haunted house immediately. Okay guys, some weird stuff has been happening in my room and I feel like I need to document this. Safi B has a collection of haunted dolls that seem to have been moving on their own. She explains how no one can be going inside to move them because she keeps her door locked during the day and after she's finished, she hears this noise. Now, I haven't told you guys this, but like lately I've been hearing my door rattle and it's like... The movement is not coming from the door, but rather from somewhere deeper within the room which she has clearly shown to be empty, except for her and her dolls. And soon she finds her answer. No, no, no. A solid black Ouija pointer falls off the shelf and lands. On January 8th, 2005, a professional diver named David Shaw was on an extraction mission to recover a missing individual named Dion Dreyer. David, having won numerous diving records in his career, many of them going great depths into caves, was confident in his abilities to locate this person. He was also with a team to help ensure his further safety. They run a line down the cave to help themselves move along and keep from straying too far and getting lost. There's very little light down here. The line leads to Dion. At three minutes, they pass over this deflated dolphin that was on Dion's vessel as a joke. Now it's on the bottom of the sea cave floor. He is walking along the bottom and soon becomes hopelessly tangled in the line. He pulls and pulls, hoping to find a good place to cut, but his movements become slower as his oxygen runs out. Okay, there he goes, he's moving on again. Now, he's breathing very hard. I won't show the end, but sadly, he did not make it out of the cave and passed in the darkness next to Dion. Let's never forget his valiant final dive and take a moment to recognize his bravery. It was his 333rd dive. An old pensioner was restrained and harmed greatly inside this castle. As intruders ransacked his home, they left with incredible antiques, including a suit of armor once worn by Oliver Cromwell and Saddam Hussein's opal-studded gold ceremonial sword. The pensioner passed away the following year, while only some of the burglars were apprehended. Exploring with Josh enters the very place that this happened, known as Satan's Castle, in this scary video published in January of 2022. The first moment of tension comes from his own team as Josh looks down into the courtyard. Oh! <laughs> and then again as he's examining the intricate ceiling decor stretched above like a spider web. Later though, things get real when they set an alarm off after yanking open one particular door. 
still, the team returns to talk to the spirits. Using a spirit box app on their phone, they ask if they should leave and receive the following answer. Shortly after, they hear footsteps from another room. Someone's literally walking right now. And then in the hallway, something loud is thrown. I feel like it did. I don't have my microphone on it. Someone's here. Clearly in Satan's castle. Is it the pensioner who once called this place home? Or Satan himself? Beware of where the random Nautica app may lead. Published a TikTok by Haley AIG in August of 2020. The app led this unfortunate group into a forest, and they weren't alone. Haley explains that the app took them to a park in the middle of nowhere. As the camera pans around, she notes that they've only seen trees so far, but they seem to have missed this figure, poking its head out from behind one of those trees. As they wander across a wooden bridge, this forlorn, dark-haired figure dressed in black crosses the path at the end of a dirt road. The girls wander on and all you can see is the ground for a moment as they wonder if they're being followed and then it's clear that they are. While many TikTokers are loving this, Austin Payton writes, I may or may not have fallen off of my bed, while others claim that their souls left their bodies and they threw their phones across the room. Haley writes, I deleted the Randonautica app after. That's probably for the best. A YouTuber named Piso Mojado records this zombie deer as it mindlessly spins around in circles at a public parking lot in the middle of the day. After a while, it briefly stops and has what could be considered a brief moment of clarity. You alright there, little guy? But then it falls over, gets up and resumes its frantic pacing. It runs in a half circle and heads towards the camera, but then it falls again and starts flailing wildly on the ground instead. The zombie deer seems dazed when it gets up a third time, like something has permanently changed in its mind. It calmly stumbles forward with a blank look in its eyes and drool falling from its mouth. Yeah, he's foaming at the mouth. Watching this video, it's hard to tell if this deer has CWD or rabies like the uploader claims. The two share many common symptoms such as drooling, disorientation, and aggression. So we may never know for sure. Either way, this man is lucky this deer decided to run away at the last moment instead of continuing its slow and steady charge in his direction. Strange behavior from a stranger at night is enough to make your spine tingle. This video, published by Mostava L Press in April of 2010, begins with some intense music and a vehicle stopped on the side of a highway at night. At first, you may not spot what the people in the vehicle are looking at, but once they zoom in, you can see a figure moving on the railing at the side of the road. The figure is unclear and indistinct at first. It's hard to tell if it's a human being or something else. But what's clear is it's scary enough in reality for the men in the vehicle to back away. Later, someone gets out of the vehicle to film the creature. As it turns out, the figure does appear to be a human being dressed in white with long legs, walking across the railing in slow, deliberate movements. When it comes nearer, the man cries out in Arabic and runs away as fast as he can. Exploring with Josh is a YouTube channel dedicated to taking a closer look at all sorts of frightening locations. This time, they decide to check out an abandoned school that is reportedly the source of black magic rituals. Pentagrams spray-painted on the wall give them a general feeling of unease all around as they make their way deeper into the building. They feel watched at times and are worried about coming across someone at any given moment. I notice some sort of strange ephemeral smoke follows them throughout the video. It's visible in two different scenes. The first time happens about five minutes in. You see some? Damn, this is spooky. Hopefully we don't run into anything crazy. Then it happens again here roughly a minute and a half later. Yeah, this one's a little bit scary. If we hear anything, let's just 
The strange smoke is definitely not their breath, because it only happens twice instead of throughout the entire video. Coincidentally, the smoke appears as soon as they sense that something is nearby. As if that weren't enough, they have another random paranormal encounter that is much more blatant. Oh my f***ing god, did you get that on tape? That is insane. I don't see any block light around the door frame to indicate one of their friends was on the other side. In fact, it doesn't look like the door even has a knob to use. There just doesn't seem to be any plausible reason for this door to open on its own. While exploring Liverpool's most haunted hotel, the Adelphi, Jess and Ellie get the feeling they're not alone. Many have seen and heard strange things inside the haunted hotel, which was built in 1826 before being replaced in 1911. Wealthy passengers would stay here before embarking on their cruise liner journey to North America. Many famous people from Sinatra to Bob Dylan to Roosevelt and Churchill have also been guests. But it's the past on that call this place home. Published in January of 2022, Jess and Ellie wander through the historic hotel with its ballroom and haunted hallways. They check themselves into the purportedly haunted room 179. When they break out the spirit box, they realize the ghosts here are quite aggressive. <laughs> Then they ask if the spirit wants them to leave or stay, and they're given a clear answer. Do you want us to stay? Jess is the same voice. It is. I'm getting. The ladies did end up leaving that night. I'd be too freaked out to stay in the Adelphi a minute longer either. Rain pouring an abandoned railway house in the middle of nowhere. The scene is set for terror. Published to YouTube in August of 2020, Exploring with Danny follows Danny and Luke wandering through the forest in the stormy darkness. They finally arrive at the abandoned railway house, which looks undoubtedly haunted with the lightning flashing ominously overhead. Once inside, they begin exploring. Everything is torn apart. Windows are boarded up, graffiti on the wall. Danny claims that back in the 1800s, more than 30 people passed away on the railway line outside the house. Those are shoes abandoned on the stairs. They head up to the second floor. In the bedrooms upstairs, there are still clothes hanging on the wardrobe. Danny asks any spirit to make itself known by giving a bang or closing a door. He might regret asking. They head down the hallway and find a strong lock on the door. A piece of the door has been broken clean off. They enter the room and it looks like someone has been living there. A wardrobe stands in the corner. As they look around the room, suddenly the wardrobe is pushed aggressively over, revealing a woman dressed in white. With a pale face and dark hair, hidden in the corner, she starts to approach them. Needless to say, the explorers scream and flee the scene as though their lives depend on it because they do. What's that? Conveying that thunder. What's that noise? Probably rats. Alex and his team say at the beginning of their video that this barnyard is abandoned. Published to YouTube by the Haunted Life Paranormal Investigations in August of 2019, Alex ventures into a barnyard turned restaurant in the middle of nowhere. It's been left like this for over a decade. The paranormal investigators are here to encounter the haunted activity that's said to be present, and they're about to face it head on. In the office, they use the spirit box to see just who they may be dealing with in this haunted place. After after not receiving much communication, the ghost hunters take a turn around the building. After a while, the spirits start making some noises, bangs, knocks, but it's at 16 minutes in that the real action occurs. In the background to the right as Alex continues to try and convince the spirits to communicate with him using electronic devices, a shadow figure crosses into the room beyond. It can be distinctively seen in the archway window moving past. Is this building abandoned or haunted by shadows? If so, to whom do the shadows belong? Look what happens when this ghost investigator decides to confront the spirit of a person who supposedly took another man's life in this room. Did you shoot that man? 
Did you shoot him because you were scared? A pale figure peeks out from the doorway. As soon as its presence is called upon, no one seems to notice, probably because it was so low. Is this the spirit they are looking for? Or just some light hitting the hall at a weird angle? A bizarre unknown creature sighting needs more attention because it's beyond creepy. Melly sees you is watching the sun come up over a riverbank in Ormond Beach, Florida. Her moment of tranquility is replaced with fear when this comes floating her way. I don't know what this is. That is a body or something. I don't know what that is. She follows it along the riverbank for as long as possible before the current grows strong and takes the odd object. Melly describes it as having scales more like a snake than a fish and also says she legitimately thought it was something from another planet when she first caught the creature on camera because of the huge size and weird shape. I don't know what that is. It looks like an alien. Look at that. The camera won't focus. Oh my God. To her, this looks like the snout of a humanoid creature with rows of sharp teeth. I tried to find a picture of a similar fish in the area, but admittedly was unable to. And maybe it's just the reflection, but it looks like it could be much larger underwater. She says if this was a fish, then nobody has been able to show her a picture of what it is. Let's help her solve this mysterious unexplained video, because to be honest, I'm not sure what this mysterious figure is either. If not of us can figure out a better answer, then maybe we have to concede that a strange creature is in fact lurking around this region of Florida. There's a phantom haunting this women's bathroom, and she doesn't like being disturbed. Posted to the r slash paranormal encounter subreddit by Kiraxis, this entity was captured in a women's bathroom in Colombia. The footage shows an empty building at night. Something can be heard causing a disturbance in the bathroom. Estoy nuevamente aquí. En la puerta del baño. The security guard looks up and down both hallways. He then approaches the bathroom where he finds that the noise is the faucet shutting on and off. Se prenden las luces. ¿Está jugando con la llave? ¿Ah? At first, you think that could easily be explained away by some technical malfunction, but then one of the air dryers is triggered too. After a moment, a door from one of the bathroom stalls slams shut, and that's the last straw for the security guard. <laughs> he flees the scene. Could this be the real life version of the fictional Moaning Myrtle? Whoever it is, they sure chose a strange place in which to spend eternity. Rian Silver is a paranormal explorer who searches every abandoned house that he can find in the hopes that it's haunted by a djinn for him to catch on camera. Most of his videos have absolutely nothing paranormal in them. Seemingly an abandoned house with nothing in it, just 20 minutes of creeping around empty room after room. But one of his scariest videos of all is paranormal beyond belief and has left him seriously creeped out ever since. He calls it the real horror house. Here's why. A strange sensation leaves him shaking before he's even cleared the main floor. The real horror house is different. From any place he's ever been before, it feels truly haunted. At 2 minutes and 8 seconds, a pair of glowing eyes stares at them from the window. It's not a cat. 9 seconds later, this creature with glowing eyes is seen outside the doorway. As they are leaving the room, a faint groan is heard behind them. As they reach the top of the stairs, they see another shadow figure that dips into the doorway upon their approach. They pursue and the weirdness follows close behind. Oh, 
ربك بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق a sudden chill gives Riyan raised goosebumps. He's showing them to the camera when all of the sudden. Bone chilling laughter now fills the abandoned house. I was thinking maybe it's people playing outside, but who would be playing in the middle of the night by an abandoned house? I think it's coming from inside and very close by. <laughs> Things get even more creepy when they reach the basement. Down here is where they find a single square opening to a secret hidden holding room with no way out. It looks like somebody might have been kept in this secret room for a long time. Riyan doesn't dare climb in, but who knows what they would have discovered if he did. Could something in this creepy room also be the source of whatever's haunting this abandoned building? When they record inside, this freaky EVP is what's caught on camera. <laughs> A tiny voice screams up at them from within, very faint but unmistakable when you hear it. Is this the final resting place of someone who fell in and can't get out? I think that might be the case. Exploring abandoned places is supposed to be an adventure, but it can also lead to some unexpected encounters. YouTube channel Explore Abandoned Places with Tattoo Tony Alton published this video in October of 2016 writing, We ran into four very strange people and were surprised while exploring, two that I got really bad vibes from. They seem like they may be wanted and running from the police. The school does look pretty creepy from the outside, and when you enter, the eeriness heightens. The place looks like a haunted house, graffiti lining the walls, broken windows, loads of decay and rubble on the ground. Early on in the video, Tony notes that this guy wouldn't stay out of his camera shots. About 20 minutes into the video, Tony comes across four men and quickly turns the camera away from them, so they don't grow angry or suspicious of his motives. While the entire encounter isn't shown, at the end of the video, Tony describes the men and explains what happened off camera. He says that two looked harmless, one was an old man, pockmarked and crazy, and the last guy was younger, shifty and acting strange. Two of the dudes kept inviting Tony downstairs to see some cool stuff, but he got a bad vibe from them and was worried about getting his equipment taken. The weirdest thing was one offered to babysit his kids whenever Tony wanted to go exploring. More than a little creepy. A highway patrol building in Truckee, California was unprepared for one of the scariest moments ever caught on CCTV, a surprise bear inspection. The animal gets up to look inside and pushes down on the extra large doorknob. It looks like an act of sheer luck, but then it knows to pull the door towards itself to get inside, which is just creepy beyond belief. You can see from its reflection of the window that this bear gets pretty far into the station. Approximately 29 seconds pass before it's spotted and chased. The curious critter nudges open the door to get away from two officers, and there really isn't much they can do except clear the parking lot and probably call wildlife authorities. The way this bear can open doors so easily seems well practiced and makes me wonder how many different human houses it's visited. Hopefully they catch it soon and relocate it someplace far away. The surveillance footage was taken from the Helmut Carr College in South Africa. A strange mist appears in the far doorway and slowly morphs into the shape of a girl wearing a long dress. She casually walks into a nearby classroom, as if this was just another ordinary school day, except of course the room is empty and no one is in the building. Even though this is called Helmut Carr College, it's actually just a high school, and this phantom-like figure does appear to be around the same size as an average student. This makes me think it could possibly be real, though I guess they could have just edited this girl into the video if they really wanted to. 
Seva Solutions is a health and lifestyle YouTube channel with a video that's going to creep out anyone eating an apple right now. For those of you who don't know, grocery stores actually will cover apples in literal wax to make them look shiny and therefore more appealing to buy. That means every time you bite into an apple, you're potentially eating wax. This YouTuber has created a method of getting the store wax off and wait until you see what it looks like at the end. First, she jabs an apple and runs lemon juice around the outside to loosen the wax bond. After that, she pours boiling hot water over the apple to fully remove the substance. After a few minutes of turning and pouring, she is finally finished. So as you can see, this is all of the just waxy stuff that came off of the apple. It's pretty gross when you think about that that's what you consume when you just think you're eating a nice healthy apple. This sludge at the bottom of the bowl is what the wax looks like once it comes off. Pretty gross, huh? It's definitely not something I want to eat. This video made me curious about organic apples, so I did some research and yes, they have wax on them too. Apparently the wax has been made out of a special organic substance, but I would rather they not do this at all. Thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers next. Thank you.